how to develop expected mean square. This is the basics to all advanced design of experiment. When you have mixed factor experiments, fixed factor, random factor, nested factor, then we have to understand what is the expected mean square for each of the effects. Um, some of the common name for a split uh, for the mixed factor design is the split plot design, repeated measure, nested design, hierarchical design, subsampling, and whatever you would like to call. However, the the analysis is guided by three things. Basically, whether it is a fixed factor, random factor, or nested factor whether you call it mixed factor, split plot, whatever the name is, that has nothing to do with the analysis. Uh, the expected mean square is basically determined based on what type of factors they are. And this is very simple to develop. Um, so let's uh, show it how to develop it. So first, to develop the expected mean square for each of the um, effects. So in this example, we'll see um, a fixed, B fixed, and um, C is nested in B, and this is how it is written, and also C is a random factor as well. So we have mixed, very mixed situation, fixed, random, and nested. C is nested in B, also C is random. Now for random, for a random factor, the variance component is, variance is written like this, simply sigma square, and then the subscript of that uh, effect. And for a fixed effect, there is no variance, so it is written like this, basically summation of the effect is square. So this is the beta is the effect due to B, alpha is the effect due to A, and it is written like this, the effect is squared divided by the degrees of freedom. And then all the subscripts for that associated with these effects written here in this column. And also the factors with their, whether fixed or random, written like that, also the replicates. And their are levels, so A levels of A, B levels of B, and so on. And N levels or N replication of the experiments and they are subscript written like this. So you set up this table like this. The next is, next rule is, um, when the when this row subscript does not contain the column subscript, then you type that level in that cell. Like this, I does not contain K, so we type C here. The I does not contain L, then we type this N here. So Z, the row of subscript, does not contain I, so we bring that A here and it does not contain K, so we bring that C here. It does not contain L, so we bring that N here. So then fill rest of the cells like that. The next is the for the dead subscript, or the nested um, factor. So whenever a subscript is within the parentheses, or dead, uh, or it's called dead, so then for the dead subscript, if it matches, if it contains the column subscript, for example, this contains the column subscript J, then we type one for that cell. Again, this J is dead and contains the column subscript J, so we type one here. And all the replicates are nested within the treatment combination. So then all IJK here is, uh, is dead. So for dead subscript, if it contains the column, then type one, insert one here, like that. This is because of the random factor, there is a typo here. The next rule is if it matches, if the row subscript contains the column subscript, like here I contains this column subscript I, if it's a fixed factor, then you type zero. Same thing, Z, Z type zero here. This contains I, type zero, this contains J, so type zero and so on. However, if it contains, so this IJKL contains this L, we typed here one because the replication is random 
for a random subscript it is one for a fixed subscript it is zero the next rule is let's say we are trying to find out the expected mean square for c then we have to basically hide that column c and then multiply this 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 and this and right here like this here here so we multiplied here sigma squared c times all the stuff we have inserted and that is this piece and then remember we're trying to find the expected mean square for c and then once we find that then the expected mean square for c is we have to add all the components that contain C. So this one contains C, this one contains C. This one also contains C because this is the replication. This is the, it contains everything. So then the total expected mean square for C, effect C is this. Similarly, we can develop this entire table. Now, this is a situation where you have a couple of fixed factor, a nested factor, and a random factor. This is a situation where you can think of a split plot can be analyzed by that, repeated measure can be analyzed that, it depends on type of experiment. So there are so many situation commons like nested, hierarchical, um, this is probably the most common experimental scenario is any ad advanced design of experiment. We'll see some of those uh, in the next module. This module will only talk about this, how to develop this expected mean square.